This right here is an example of what happens. Most of the juice is coming from, not at this level where it's being crushed, but when it's pressed further later. So this right here is kale going in and some spinach. And what um, some proponents have pointed out is that this kind of um, juicer is self-pulling. It pulls the greens and just presses them out. The downside is you have to cut a lot. So you can't just drop this in. It's got to be chopped up. But what you're able to get, though, is a very flaky and dry. This is not very wet here. It's been crushed. And so when this goes in, that's a little big. It's better if they're a little bit smaller. They'll be accepted a bit easier. So it's better to chop them a little bit more. This is not the same as using a champion juicer, I'll tell you. And you know, when the cucumber goes in, you, you notice that the, there's going to be a flow on this side. That when it drops in, you know, there goes the flow. So, but then it also comes later. Putting some kale. The kale will eventually be accepted. There it goes. See how they just. And it's very slow, it's only about 75 RPM. And you can see that's the um, cucumber juice coming out there. And then by dialing it here, we get more. Uh, here's the secret of the thing. Um, you know, it's pushing it through. And this right here is where the secondary um, extraction takes place. First contraction happens here as it's being crushed, but as it's being forced through this part, there's this um, sieve right here. That's where you get a lot of the juice coming through. Hope you enjoy this.